In California, where officials are struggling to close a $26 billion budget gap, there is a radical proposal on the table legalizing marijuana. Here's Brian Rooney. What they're saying is that California could ease its budget crisis by relaxing with a little legal weed. The governor and legislature are ignoring millions of Californians who want to pay taxes. We're marijuana consumers. That commercial running on cable and broadcast television this week was created by a marijuana advocacy group. What we have with prohibition is the worst of all possible worlds, a drug that's as common as dirt and totally unregulated and totally untaxed. It makes no sense. Proponents of legalization predict a tax windfall. It takes about three months to grow marijuana, and one high-quality plant can produce two ounces with a retail value of about $800, which, under the proposed law, would give the state a $100 hit. Taxes from California's marijuana industry could pay the salaries of 20,000 teachers. The bill to legalize was introduced by a legislator from, naturally enough, San Francisco. Well, the income from taxes, the sales tax and the excise tax, would probably be in the neighborhood of $1.5 The amount of money that would be saved in terms of incarceration and the not enforcing of uh, minor marijuana crimes, I imagine, would be another few million, if not more. Marijuana for medical use is already legal in California. More dispensaries in Los Angeles than Starbucks coffee shops. But not all proprietors favor full legalization. Some people, they abuse it and they're going to ruin it for people who really need it. It shouldn't be like a martini at the end of the day. It shouldn't. A recent poll says 56% of Californians favor legal marijuana. There's no word on whether the legislature is smoking what they are. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles.